Yeah. I think this one is gonna be a crowd favorite. Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slade here. Back with another unboxing, and today uh, I have something from the good folks over at Dornbecker Hospital or the OHSU Hospital in Portland, Oregon. It is part of the Dornbecker Freestyle Collection for 2023, and I think this one is the one that people are really, really going to like. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. As you see, it comes in the normal Dornbecker Freestyle box. This pair was designed by Jaron Heacock, and uh, I really, really like it. It's a super hot shoe right now. So let's hop into it. See, there's Jaren there. Uh, if you wanted to take a look and see what Jaren looks like. So Jaren is a patient at Dornbecker Hospital and he had a cleft palate and they helped repair his cleft palate. And while that process was going on, he was selected for the Dornbecker Freestyle Program and he designed this shoe, which is the Vomero 5. My name is Jaren and I'm 10. When I found out I was selected, I was surprised and really happy. Some of my favorite things about the shoe is the jargon and the colors. Working with my Nike team was fun. They helped me design it and they're really funny. When I saw my design, I was really happy how it turned out. My shoe's going to look expensive and nice. So. Let's get right into it. Here you go. As you see, it comes with a lot of accessories, which I think is really dope, and it's part of his story. Uh, this is how to lace your shoes, uh, part of more like the Romero than it is his design. But on the back, you see, it has some dragons, and those go to his story as well. And I'll tell you a little bit about those in just a little bit. Uh, comes with some lace ties, which goes with the back there, so that's where those two kind of go together. Uh, but it comes with this as well. This is almost like a Velcro board and it has a bunch of different things that matter to Jaren, which I think is really dope because shoe telling should be about your personal story. But yeah, so let's take a look. Comes with a bunch of different laces. Um, I've actually already worn these, so I'm super excited about showing these to you guys. But it comes with, uh, let's see, a red pair, a blue pair, an orange pair, a purple pair, and then the yellow pair, I actually already took apart because I was gonna try them out in the shoes. And then we have the shoes in there. You, oh, there's a green pair of laces in here too. Look at that. So a bunch of different colors. But here are the shoes. Give you guys a closer look there while I take all of this stuff off of the table. So for those that are not familiar with this shoe, this is the Vomero 5. It is probably one of the most popular retro Nike shoes out there right now. For fans of the Vomero, this will be like your moment because the shoe is getting a lot of respect right now from the community and it's popping up in a bunch of different colorways, which is actually really cool because the shoe is a really nice shoe. Now, to give you guys a little bit of history, so the Vomero 5 first released back in 2010, 2011. There was actually a Nike Plus version of this shoe. So if you guys have ever seen my Hyperdunk video about the Hyperdunk Plus where it like measured your height and how high you jumped and how many steps you took, these shoes had a version of that as well back in the 2010, 2011 years. Uh, but this version doesn't have that, but it does have the two zoom pods. You can't really see them here at the bottom, but there's a zoom pod here and there's a zoom pod here as well. So in the heel and the forefoot, you get a zoom pod to give you that extra, extra cushy and bouncy and responsive feeling. But let's talk a little bit about Jaren's design. Obviously you can see it's bright orange and yellow and red. Uh, I don't know exactly why he chose these colors. So Jaren, if you are in the comments, let us know uh, why you picked these colors. I'd love to know more about your reason for those colors. But outside of that, the material choices go to Jaren's mind. So Jaren is really inventive. He loves like robotics. He loves Roblox and he loves kind of putting things together. And so that's kind of what you get with his shoe. It's just his personality kind of put into a shoe. So the material you see here is made out of like felt, I'm going to call it. So these Velcro pieces could actually stick to the shoe really anywhere you put them there on the front. You can put them on the side on the Nike swoosh. They can go here on the back as well. So wherever you want them, 
the the velcro patches can pretty much stick to the shoe you can even stick them to the tongue if you wanted to now as far as his details go you see it has his name jaren there right there at the tip of the toe box it's on both of those the lace tips have team j on them so you get that as well you get team j on the tongue and then you get a roblox looking character or minecraft looking character version of jaren as well there on the tongue there and then on this one you have the nike swoosh and then the team j this writing is in chinese i believe it says jaren and the reason why it's written in chinese is because jaren is chinese he was actually adopted by his parents from china which i think is super dope now, the other thing you find out about these is here on the heel. So on the lateral side of the heel, it says assembling. And this is really about Jaren assembling the future and putting together his robots and things like that. So you get that hit of assembling there. And then on the other side, it says future, which you can see right here. Again, all about the future and Jaren being the future and looking forward to the future. There's also some glow in the dark hits on these as well. So if you ever wear these in the dark, uh, the back piece here glows in the dark, which is really cool. And I believe the pieces here on the toe and on the bottom of the shoe glow in the dark as well. So you get those extra hits of glow in the dark, which is really, really cool. Now on the Velcro here, where you see all of these pieces, you notice that there are names here, Johan, Josie, and Jolie. These are actually Jaren's brothers and sisters, and he wanted to keep them as part of his shoe design. So he included their names as tags you can put, but it didn't stop there because the man loves his family, you can see that their names are also on the insoles as well. See, this is the type of storytelling that I love where Jaren through Nike is able to tell his own story. And he has his siblings who mean a lot to him and he put them on the insoles of the shoe, but then also again on the Velcro, which I think is really cool. So shout out to Jaren for showing love for his fan band. And then at the bottom here, you can see that it has like that pixelated look Again, going to the Roblox slash Minecraft style of things. Now, this pair actually already released, so you can get them now if you want to buy a pair because they didn't sell out because the Dornbecker stuff isn't selling out anymore, which is great for people that want to get them and wear them. So there's this other really cool detail. If you look really close inside on the strobe board, it has the initials of the people in his family, which is really, really cool. That's a cool detail. It's almost like a hidden detail, but it's in there as well. So big shout out to Jared for including his family in multiple ways on the shoe. Uh, with that being said, as always, I appreciate you. Thank you to Doran Becker for allowing me to be a part of this and to spread the message of OHSU. You guys do an amazing job. The things that you're doing for kids and allowing them to live a better life is absolutely incredible. And I'm forever grateful that I'm able to be a part of that and spread that message. Anyway, as always guys, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And as Jaren said, uh, take it easy because this is how I roll. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.